After allegations came to light that a Kentucky prosecutor may have offered favors in criminal cases to a defendant in exchange for nude photos, well, we started looking into who is able to hold prosecutors accountable. If the allegations in this case are proven true, what could happen next? Lee Searcy asked the question in this LEX 18 investigates. It's tough to stomach, quite frankly. It's, that's uh, Kenton that's County Commonwealth's problem. attorney, Rob Sanders, on the allegations surrounding Commonwealth's attorney, Ronnie Goldie, who prosecutes in Montgomery, Menifee, Bath, and Rowan counties. As first reported by the Courier Journal, Goldie allegedly did favors for a criminal defendant in exchange for nude pictures and videos. We obtained the 230 pages of Facebook messages in question between the two. We've repeatedly tried to ask Goldie about the accusations, but so far have not heard back from him. If the allegations are true, Sanders says Goldie should resign because it undermines Kentuckians' faith in the criminal justice system. And it's really just something we can't tolerate. So I believe Mr. Goldie should step down. Uh, he should spare us all the embarrassment. Sanders is on the executive committee of the Kentucky Commonwealth's Attorneys Association. He's the legislative liaison between Commonwealth's attorneys and the General Assembly. He says right now the only regulatory authority overseeing prosecutors is the Kentucky Bar Association. They have the same power to discipline anyone with a law license, not just prosecutors. And with all due respect to the KBA, they just don't move very fast. And their process is not our process. And prosecutors, by virtue of the positions we hold, uh, we should be held to a higher standard. Sanders, a former member of the Prosecutors Advisory Council, believes the council should have the authority to act in situations of potential wrongdoing. And he's talked to lawmakers about it. We can't suspend prosecutors can't reprimand prosecutors, certainly can't kick them out of elected office or anything like that. Um, so that needs to change. We asked the attorney general's office if they're investigating the allegations involving Goldie. A spokeswoman told us the office has not received a request for a special prosecutor, but if they do, they can appoint one to, quote, review any investigative materials, then determine the next steps. We since asked if they can launch their own investigation without a request. We're still waiting to hear back from them. And we've also reached out to the FBI. They said they can't confirm or deny whether they're investigating. Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.